All right, so the goal of this video is to discuss how to set up a basic folder structure to start developing a web page. So we're going to create a blank folder on my local machine and then set up some like subdirectories in there and also our uh, drop page, our index file. Uh, so note that this is not on a server. I'm just going to do this on my local machine and I'm not using any type of uh, server software like um, like XAMPP, which would allow us to use you know, server-side technologies. Instead, I'm just going to make a folder on my computer, which once finished could be moved over to a server uh, to actually you know, use and host your website. Okay, so I'm going to create a new folder um, here on my secondary drive. I'm going to make a website for my cats. So we're going to call it cats site. All right, and then within this folder, I'm going to create some subfolders to store different uh, resources. So first off, we might want we're going to want to have a folder to store all of our styles and our CSS. And so I'm going to do that with, uh, or I'm going to call that either CSS or style. It doesn't. That's those are the most common. I'm just going to call it um, style. So all of our style um, CSS files would go into that folder. And then I'm going to also create a folder for JavaScripts um, for any type of functionality. So I'm just going to call that scripts. And then I'm going to create a source folder. So that's if we want to download any like libraries like Bootstrap or jQuery that we're going to use on our web page, we can store the source code there. And then I'm going to make one for uh, uh, for images and data. Well, let's just do those separately. So I'll just do an images folder. So to host it locally. And then lastly, I'm going to create a data folder if we want to add in any data, like you know, links to PDF files, or if we want to make a map, we could add some of our like GeoJSON data there. Okay, and then I want to make a start making a drop page. So I'm going to do, oh, I'm going to do new, and well, let me do a text file. Yeah, let's do new text document. And I'm going to call this index. And I'm going to change the extension to HTML. That's okay. All right, so that should be our blank website directory. So we've got some subfolders in here to store different, uh, you know, diff d different components of the page, and we have our index. Uh, one last thing, I'm going to, in this style here, I'm going to go ahead and create a CSS file that we can store our CSS into. So I'm going to create a new text file. We'll call it my style and change the extension to CSS. Okay. All right, and then to actually open up this directory to start building from it, um, I'm using brackets. Again, you can use different uh, software for this. Uh, brackets is just a plain text editor. A lot of people use it for web development. It's also free. So I'm going to click on this, right click on this folder. I'm going to do an open as brackets project. And that should launch brackets. And see, it sees our entire directory structure there. So there's our HTML file. There's nothing in it yet. And then here's our style folder with the CSS. OK, so that's our setting up our directory. Um, in the next video, we'll, talk, we'll start adding some content into the web page.